Hi, this is Mandeep, founder of Mandeeps.com, and this will be a demo uh, video for our live images module. All right, let's begin. We'll log in as an admin, and as you can see, we have some images on the on the page. Uh, these are done using the HTML module. So uh, let's see what we have. Basically, a couple images. We have three thumbnails that are linking to uh, the full size image, and we have a, a link that's also linking to an image. So go back and if you click on any of them they just launch in a new browser and, and show, the, show the image. We also have another text HTML module the paragraph that has a thumbnail and a link as well. Alright so let's see what live images can do instead of just clicking on an image and have it launch in a new window let's see what live images can do for us. Let's go ahead and grab live images module add it to the page and there's our live images module. All we need to do is go to options check automatic mode hit update. Right, now when we come back and we click on an image this is what happens. Instead of opening it in a new browser it opens right on your screen in a light box. Display. Also notice that we had group images selected in, in our options and what that does it gives us a next and a previous option which allows us to go ahead and uh, navigate between all our images on the pages. So that's pretty neat if you have galleries and want to create a gallery view kind of like. Also notice that these captions are appearing and they're taken from the the link of the image so if you click on this one right here it shows that that's a desert landscape we also have full keyboard navigation so I can use my keyboard to go left right or close the images alright so that's great let's go back to our options and uncheck group images let's go ahead and update that what this does is is now that you have the image launch you cannot go ahead and navigate between different images so this is another useful feature if the if the images you have on the page are not uh, logically grouped together alright so so that's great let's go ahead and take a look what else live images has let's take a look at some of the advanced settings here we can go ahead and specify a different background color for the light box effect than the regular black color so Let's see. Let's see if you if you have a side that's uh, very colorful and you want to show a red background instead. Uh, let's, let's take a look what that does. There we go. Oh, all right. Let's see what else options do we have. You also get to go ahead and specify the opacity there on that uh, background color. You could specify which keys to use for nav uh, keyboard navigation. Which key do you want? to use to close the window. Right now you're, we're using the, the letter C but escape well works as well. Uh, letter N for next, letter P for previous and so on. We can, also, we can also go ahead and specify how long do we want the, the module to take to resize that image and show it on the page. So it's uh, right now at 400 milliseconds which is fairly quickly. If I go ahead and make that 4,000 which is 4 seconds just to kind of show what, what, what exactly it does take a look when we click it's going to take 4 seconds for the image to actually go ahead and get resized and come on the page so here we go there it is so that, that basically demonstrates some of the advanced functionality that's out there in this pretty simple module uh, we'll go ahead and change that to back to 400 and here these 4 parameters allows you to customize this even further you can specify your own previous button, next button, close button images as well as the loading image so it's just a matter of giving it the URL to the image uh, whether it's in your website or if you're linking from some other site it's that simple. Alright so that's great let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate a little bit more functionality of live images well automatic mode is great you can go ahead and turn it on in one click you have all your images grouped and they're showing in a light box effect but what if you want more flexibility? What if you want to control exactly which image do you want it to show the effect on and which one not to? Uh, what if you're using XMOD, List X, or, or your own custom module and you want to add this feature in? What if you want the ability to specify, okay, these set of groups of images, group them, and these set of group uh, of images don't group them. We can do all that with the developer mode. So let me go ahead first and uh, uh, select no effect and come back and let's take a look at this HTML module right here if we click on it we, we get the image launch now that the effect is no longer there it's launching in a new window 
Now, we have an image here and we have a link to an image here as well. They're both linking to images. Let's say I want to only have this one in a light box and not this one. Well, that's uh, that's easy. Let's see let's see what we can do. Let's go back to our HTML module right here. And if I go ahead and take a look at the um, link properties here for this one, in my advanced link right here, I have given it a class. This is the CSS class, the style sheet class. And I've called it the tree class. All right. And let's let's take a look at this one as well right here. We'll call it edit link. Go right there. And here you'll see I've given it an ID called tree. All right, so now that we know that, and and if you if you're using your own custom module or using Xmod, you can always give it a class to your links or an ID to your links. And then let's go to options. And in developer mode, we're using jQuery. So if you're not familiar with jQuery, it's a wonderful JavaScript library that lets you do a lot of DOM manipulation. So we don't need to know much. All we need to know is the word jQuery. And we need to know which are which images are we targeting. So let's say we want to target all the images that have the CSS class test in them. So we're gonna say a tag, which is the length, and they have uh, not I'm sorry, not the not the class test. I mean the class tree in it. And we're targeting the CSS class called tree. So if we do this, and we say that light box, this is the code we need to know. And if you do this and hit update, it will only target the links that have the class tree. In. So there we go. All right, let's go back to our options and let's just change back our background color to black. And let's also get our speed back to 400 milliseconds so we don't have to wait for it to come. And as you see, click on this one. This one still launches in your window because we didn't touch it yet. If you click on this one, there it is, as we, as we wanted it. And you also see there's a caption coming in called A3. Let's see where that caption comes from. The caption is really easy. You could go ahead and go to Edit Link and go to the Advanced Setting. And this is called Advisory Title. That's where the caption comes from. So I could see, I wish there was more than one tree. All right, let's see if that works. Go ahead and save that. And there we go. I wish there was more than one tree. Now, uh, we didn't touch this one yet, so let's see using develop mode if we can target that as well. You, you're not limited to just one selector. I can go ahead and add multiple selector here, so I'm going to go ahead and do just that. And, and this time, I know we give it an ID called tree, so I can use a syntax similar to this that's targeting only that particular ID, and we'll call lightbox method. If you're familiar with jQuery, the selector mechanism is really powerful and you can select whatever you want right here. So let's go ahead and do an update there too. And there we go. Works just as well. So that's what Live Images does for us. It's, it's very simple, straightforward, easy to use it. for beginners and it's worth for developers. All you have to do is drop the module on the page and all your images are lightbox. You can group them, choose not to group them, and if you need more functionality, be able to specifically target certain images, use the developer mode. So, just for a recap, we got an automatic mode, which is great for beginners, allows you to group images or just show them single view, or the developer mode for those who want to use them in their custom modules or have more flexibility. And there's all these advanced settings, which lets you go ahead and do a lot, lot more of customizations. The entire module does run uh, the presentation using CSS, so you can always customize that as well. Well, that's all for this demo, and uh, enjoy the product. If you have any questions, pre-sales, post-sales, feel free to ask them. Thank you for watching the video.